This video released by the Israeli military on Monday is said to show bombardments targeting structures and fortifications used by the Hezbollah militant group in southern Lebanon. And a security source said a commander of Hezbollah's elite Radwan force named Wissam Tawil was killed. Tawil's assassination marks one of the most high-profile attacks on Hezbollah's senior officers in three months of hostilities with Israel. There was no immediate comment from Israel. But sources, including a Syrian military intelligence officer, told Reuters that Israel is carrying out an unprecedented wave of deadly strikes targeting cargo trucks, infrastructure and people involved in moving weapons from Iran to proxy forces in the region, including inside Syria. The sources said that while Israel has attacked Iranian-linked targets in Syria for years, it shifted strategies after the October 7th rampage by Hamas fighters into Israeli territory. The intensified air campaign has killed 19 Hezbollah members in Syria in three months. More than 130 Hezbollah fighters have also been killed by Israeli shelling of southern Lebanon in the same period. The Israeli military did not respond to questions from Reuters about its escalating campaign. Exchanges of fire along Israel's northern border have become near daily occurrences since October 7th. On Saturday, Hezbollah claimed it fired some 62 rockets at an Israeli observation post. The threat of escalation comes amid a fourth visit by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken to the region. From day one, as I said, we've been working to make sure the conflict doesn't spread. Blinken last week said a wider conflict was in no country's interest. We know that this is not what Israel wants or seeks. It's not what we want or seek. I know from Lebanon's perspective, uh, it's not in the interest of Lebanon to see any escalation. Israel has pledged to eliminate Hamas leadership both inside the Gaza Strip and beyond. Last week, a suspected Israeli strike killed Deputy Hamas Chief Saleh al-Aruri in Beirut's southern suburbs, an area controlled by Hezbollah. Israel has neither confirmed nor denied its responsibility for that attack.